Sorry, my mic was muted. Quick recap. Muted my mic again. I keep forgetting to turn it off. What am I doing? Okay, I forget to is on mute and I just keep going. You didn't see any of that. Hi friends, welcome back to the channel. Are you ready to practice some red teaming skills? My name's Ash, I'm a cybersecurity enthusiast and on today's video, we're going over another Try Hack Me room and this one's called Easy Peasy. For notes, timestamps, links, anything like that, see the description. Otherwise, let's get into it. So I'm on Try Hack Me. Uh, we have a machine to boot. So we'll go start machine, get that going. We have two tasks, enumeration and compromising. So task one simply says deploy the machine attached and then use nmap to enumerate. So we're looking for how many ports are open, a version of Nginx and a high port running on the machine. So my mic was muted. Quick recap, we've done our initial rust scan. We've seen that there are three ports open and now we've done our second rust scan. So I can see here, we've got a version 1.161. And what is that high port? Well, we already have that. No, it's saying what is what is running on the highest port. Uh, so we can see that's a, another web server. Oh damn, there's a lot of questions. All right, now you've enumerated the machine. Answer questions and compromise. So we have some task files. Uh, let's see what these are. Uh, so let's go ahead and make a directory uh, for the room. We'll get our text file that we've downloaded. There's a lot of lines. So it looks like it's our dictionary list. Um, so it's got a bunch of passwords, a lot of passwords. All right, so it says using GoBuster, or I'll use Ferox Buster, find flag one. And just to get an idea, so we'll see further enumerate the machine. I muted my mic again. I keep forgetting to turn it off. What am I doing? Okay, Ferox Buster scan, nothing in the view source of the home page, which just looks like default Nginx. So we're trying to find something, some directory or something. Yeah, like a hidden directory. Okay, ominous photo uh, pulled in from Pixabay. Nothing in here. So guess this is maybe something further hidden in this directory. So by default, Ferox Buster will go into depth four times. So it'll try and then scan again within hidden. So we can essentially just let it do its thing. I'm just kind of interested if we navigate over to that punchy server that's running on um, 65524. So it looks like it's again, just a default um, home page. Yo. Okay, so we have a paragraph tag in here with the hidden attribute. So it's encoded with BA dot 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 and then our string that's encoded. So that sort of makes me think it's base something. Uh, so we can navigate over to Cyberchef and we can turn it over to dark mode. So if we paste this in, Cyberchef doesn't um, give us anything. Not base 64. Uh, so let's search up from base. I really don't know how this works. Usually 32 is detected. Um, 45 is too large, 58. All right, 62, let's go. Does this say, um, Nod to Metallica. So navigating to our hidden directory, we are presented with something. Control U. So we have a long string and something else, a JPEG. Interesting. I'm gonna go pause on this port for a second and uh, let's just jump to our scans, which we actually do have another hidden directory inside. All right, so this one has a title of dead end and somebody just looking out in the middle of nowhere. View source reveals that there is something in possibly base 32, base 64. So pasting that in, we can see Cyberchef recommending, hey, this is base 64. Awesome. So we can indeed confirm this is our first flag. Great. Flag one down. Now over to flag two. But I have a feeling that flag two will probably be over here somewhere. So that sort of brings me back here. Um, we're given a random string and then a JPEG. So this JPEG is local. These are just actual stock photography images that anyone can use, but this is local on the machine. So I'm gonna go copy link. Uh, so let's W get that. Uh, let's just open it up. It doesn't look like anything. Like we just saw it on the front end of the web app, but I do know from the tags that there is some stegnography in this. So we can run steg seek and uh, it says that passphrase couldn't be found. Really know where to go right now. So back on the view source of our high port web server, we can actually find flag three. Uh, it's just written there, kind of random. Yeah, so this is super random. So that was flag three, but it's saying crack the hash with easy peasy.txt. What is flag three? Should these be the other way around? So if I look back at our view source for this hidden directory, 
I, is this a hash? Let's go hash ID and throw that in. And we do have some recommendations. So perhaps it is of the 256 family. So let's use John. I don't know if we have to put this string inside of a file, but we can go word list equals to easy peasy dot txt. Let's just go touch hash and put this inside it. Wait, that's not how it works. Fine, we'll just make it open it in a text editor and paste it in. Uh, next, we'll just run John again. So it says loaded one password hash crypto safe. So if we run John hash dash dash show, zero passwords, hash is cracked, one left. All right, so no luck. Why not try Hashcat? So we'll see if we can just detect it. So similar results to hash ID. So it's sort of just the guessing game, trial and error of one after the other. But to save us a little bit of time, I know for a fact that we can go ahead and use this one. So we'll pass through uh, our word list and our hash file and we'll put it into the mode that it needs. That probably took less than a minute. Yeah, or a little over. We do have a successful crack. So it's a question of what exactly is this gonna be used for? Since I'm pretty convinced that we do have something hidden within this JPEG, I don't know how to use stegseek. I think that this password is to break into this. We'll just paste it into a password file and we'll try it this way. Sweet, so that gave us this jpeg.out, which is ASCII text. So we can just go ahead and cat that out. So we're given a username and then we're given a password that is its binary. Back to Cyberchef, paste it in, magic wand, doing its thing. And we are given a password. And going back over our original scan, we do have SSH on this machine. And now we have a username and a password to gain access we can get in. Before I go any further, Let's just go back to our questions. Still don't know where flag two is, but we did find out where the hidden directory is. So we'll paste that in, awesome. Using the word list that provided to you, English is, yeah. In the task, crack the hash, what is the password? Great, so we did that too. And then what is the password to log in via SSH? And I believe that's the one that we just got. Awesome. Where is flag two? <laughs> uh, okay, so something that I totally skipped over and this is a good lesson for me to take my time sort of in the enumeration stage is to sort of slow down and observe more. There was a robots.txt that has some information in it. And this is for a high port. So if we go over there to our robots.txt, we are given an unusual user agent and a message, this flag can enter, but only this flag, no more exceptions. I don't know what that means. But if I had to guess, this would be something encoded. So Cyberchef not giving me anything. Since the others were in bases, um, perhaps this is two. Um, 64 and 32 should be like picked up. So we can just sort of try different things. Uh, okay, so after trying different things, maybe this isn't encoded. Uh, maybe this is also MD5 or something. So let's pass it through Hashcat. Uh, I'm gonna take a stab in the dark and say that it is gonna be MD5, so dash zero for that mode, just because MD5 is quite common. I could be dead wrong. Okay, it's not MD4, it's not MD5, not NTLM either. Maybe we can find it on crack station, just as a, no. I forget to, is on mute and I just keep going. You didn't see any of that. We found the flag on MD5 hashing. We then have put that into try hack me and we're back onto user flag and root flag. So we're logging in over SSH, which we've got the passwords in that. And we have a lot of messages. We have some lawsuit that will be filed against us if the law is not followed. You have one minute before the AC-130 starts firing. I warn you, one minute, I warn you. So maybe there's a timer that's gonna log us out. I don't know, this is kind of anxiety inducing. All right, so we're listing out, we've got a uh, user.txt. So the user flag, so it's the user flag that something seems wrong, it's rotated or something. Let's copy that, slap it into Cyberchef. Sweet, first one, ROT13, paste that in, done. All right. Privilege escalation. So we have the password, so sudo dash L. We have the password off my notes, paste it in. Sorry, user boring may not run sudo on Carl 4 PC. That's the room creator. So there's no sudo. So at this point, we can do a couple of things. I do remember on the tags of the machine was cron job. Is it cron tab? Yeah. So this is leading us into what we need to actually take advantage of. So the root is going to be going into var www and running root privilege this my secret cronjob.sh. So let's go over here and uh, let's list out what we've got. 
So it's just HTML, uh, but it's hidden. So let's see all of our hidden files and there it is. So we have read and execute access, uh, but we can't actually write to it. So it is just empty with a comment, I will run as root. Cool. Can we just go ahead and remove it? No. Oh wait, I didn't even look at who owns it. It's us, we own it. So we have write permissions. Oh, let's just nano it up. That makes it super easy. Uh, so let's just go over to Red Shells, chuck in our IP address of our machine. We can just go ahead and use, it doesn't really matter. So we'll paste in our reverse shell, control X, Y, enter. Sweet, so that's gonna run. Let's just get a netcat listener and uh, we'll just wait for the cron job to do its thing. And we're root now. Let's go over to root and uh, last little tricky bit, they've made it uh, hidden checking my, our sanity paste it in and awesome there we go that was easy peasy but yeah thank you so much for watching up on the screen go check out lean you the last trunk we walked through that i did great room similar in style another boot to root otherwise thanks again and i will see you in the next video